Opioid deaths started basically plummeting, I think it was the summer of uh, 2023, and it's great. I don't think anybody has a great answer for it. Things like that always kind of go in waves because the most vulnerable people die and aren't out there anymore. The CDC, when it writes about it, always talks about how there's much more availability and knowledge about naloxone which is this drug you can take that basically reverses the effects of an opioid overdose. And that has definitely saved a bunch of lives, but I mean, it was out there five or 10 years ago too, and yes, it's increased, but that doesn't explain this sudden drop. One thing that is really interesting when I started looking, I, I had sorted it all by age group in a chart. It flipped from the 25 to 34 age group being the biggest set of victims to the 35 to 44. And then when I actually just went in and sort of divided by millennials and Gen Z, which you can't do for every year because they, they only have the data going back to 99, but you could do for this period. And it's like, yeah, Gen Z is dying less of everything pretty much at the exact same age than the millennials were 16 years ago.